Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on RefWorks. This tutorial has been created to show you how to create a RefWorks account, import resources into your RefWorks account, and create a reference page. What is RefWorks, you ask? This is an account that allows you to organize all your research documents like journal, newspaper, and magazine articles that you will find during your everything search into one convenient location that you can access anywhere you have Wi-Fi. Why do you need a RefWorks account? Your RefWorks account has a lot of useful tools that will be explored in further tutorials, but our focus today will be on importing documents to create a reference page. Let's begin! As you can see, we have already started by performing an everything search. If you are having trouble remembering how to search Niagara College Library for resources, please refer to the 3 minutes to research video. The first step that we want to take is to click on the three line icon found at the top right hand corner of the page. Please note that the reference login can also be found in the all databases A to Z pad tab on NC Library's homepage. And there you can see once we hit that three line tab that our reference login is located right there. Next, we want to select the no account sign up here link. It's located right there. Next, we want to enter our Niagara College email account in the box provided. You will need to use your college email address so that RefWorks can verify your account access. Remember, your email address should follow the format shown in the screen, which is username at ncstudents.niagaracollege.ca. Just a reminder that your username is the same as your Blackboard username. After you have filled in your email, click the check button. You will then be prompted to choose a password for your account. After you have picked a password, click the sign up button. You will then receive an email from RefWorks to confirm and activate your account. If you do not see this email in your inbox, you may want to check your junk mail. Click on the link or copy and paste the link it's right here in the address bar of your browser to complete confirmation. Once you confirm and activate your RefWorks account, you will, that you will be prompted to set it up. Here you will fill in your first and last name. It's right where I've put Bianca Parisi. Next you will select your area of study or other under Niagara College drop-down menu. You'll notice that I have selected other. Um, Next, you want to select undergraduate students under the role drop down menu. I've selected librarian. Once you've finished filling out your info, select the next button. Please skip the display tutorial. Our focus today will be on the basic tools of RefWorks. You will have the opportunity to experience RefWorks advanced tools in a different session. So we're just gonna... Now that we have our RefWorks account set up, we're going to click on the Back to Library Search button found near the top left-hand corner of the page. We're now going to learn how to add documents to our RefWorks account from the Everything Search. We are now back to our original Everything Search screen. We are going to add a few resources to our folder. The resources that we add will be put in the folder icon near the top right hand corner of the page. You can see that icon right there. To add resources to your folder, click on the plus folder icon located beside the item that you would like to add to your folder. So, for instance, if we want to add this resource right here, We'd hit this and it'd go in this folder up here. Now notice that the plus folder icon has changed. 
It is now a dark red marked icon indicating that you have added this resource to the folder icon located at the top page. So these right here are now located right there where you can see the two. Now that we've added some resources to our folder, we can click on it to access our RefWorks account. By clicking on the folder icon found at the top of the Everything Search page, it has brought us back to our RefWorks account. You'll notice that all the resources that we have selected earlier are now found in our account. To begin making our reference page, check mark the Select All box. It's right there. Create, click the Create Bibliogra Bibliography tab that is represented by a quotation mark icon to make your reference page. I'm just going to click that to make our bibliography. You will notice that the reference page has been created from the resources that we have selected. The citation has defaulted to AMA or American Medical Association. Next, I'm going to click on the Citation Style drop-down menu, which is right here, and select the Citation Style that we need. You can perform a search if your style is not listed, just right in here. I'm going to select the latest edition of APA. Ta-da! We have created a reference page, which you can copy and paste at the end of your research paper. Click on the Copy to Clipboard button so that you can paste the reference page at the end of your research paper. Boom. Please remember that automated citations created by RefWorks are not always correct. It is important to always double check your reference page to make sure that it is correct. Please consult the Citation Help subject guide found at the library's website. I have provided a link to the guide at the bottom of this slide. It's right there. To recap, today we learned how to create a RefWorks account, import documents into a RefWorks account, and create a reference page. If you're having any problems, please use live chat, email at library at niagaracollege.ca, give us a call at 905-735-2211 extension 7767 at Welland and 4413 at Niagara on the Lake campus or come into the library. We're always here to help you. Thanks for watching.